Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be another video about uh, PySite 6 and Python graphical programming. And uh, what I want to show you is how you can uh, show data in a something called table widget. So let's call this table widget or just with that py. We need to import the sys module and once the sys module is imported from pysite6.qt widgets we need to import q application and q table widget and q table widget item and then from the pysite 6. Qt UI, we need to import Q color. All right, let's create an array with some colors. And the first color that we want is called red, and it has the hexa code of FF and four zeros. We also want the green color which has the hexa code 00, zero ff00 zero, zero, and the blue which has the hexa code 0000, zero, zero, zero ff all right now what we would like to do is to define a function get rgb from hex and basically we need the code hex variable and use the code that replace hashtag with nothing. We need to pass the code, the hexa code as argument and we need the RGB value which is going to be a tuple and this tuple will contain an integer from the code hex i column i plus 2 and this is going to be in the following form 0, 2, 4 and we need to return the Q color that from RGB RGB 0 and RGB 1 and RGB all right now what we can do is to create our application which is going to be the Q application and we need to have the table created Q table widget and it is going to have the length of the colors and this is going to to be not the argument for the table widget but rather the table that set row count and we should also set the column count which is going to be the len colors first item plus one and we also have to set the table set horizontal header labels and this should be the name the hex and the color all right so now we need a for loop with three variables name and code in enumerate colors and what we have to do is to have a basically a name which should be a queue table widget item from the name and we should have a code and we should have a color which is going to be an empty 
QTable widget item. And what we would like to do is to set the item color set background from the get RGB from hex with the code. And after that, the table that set item should receive the appropriate arguments. The first one is going to be I, zero, and name. And the second one should be I, one, and code. And the third one should be I, two, and color. All right. Once we have this defined, we need the table that show, and we need the sys.exit up exec. All right, so let's do something. So we have the item prefix for the code and color, and we want to use it here as well. But the after after this, we should be able to run it. So table widget, and as you can see, we have the table there with the first column as the names, then the hexacode, then the color. And uh, technically, that was it. This is how you can use the table widget. See you in the next.